Outside of the arena before the game, fans enjoy the music and the barbecues. But most of the discussion was focused on the former captain. Dave Jewell has been a Spitfires fan since 1991. He says from a fan's point of view, it was difficult to accept the news of Mickey's death. I thought it was a joke at first, and then once it started filtering in through, through AMA 100 and all the TV stations, I'm going, okay, this is, this is real. I, I didn't know how to deal with it. I was, I was in tears just like everybody else, I think, was. So it was tough to deal with, but you kind of had to figure out how to deal with it really quickly because everybody else was going through the same thing. Spitfire's goalie, Andrew Engelage, was a good friend of Mickey's. For him and his teammates, there was nothing they could do but work through it together. Um, that was tough last year. I mean, uh, I mean, it was real, real hard, but we kind of rallied around it and it definitely made us a real tight-knit team. Inside the arena, in the hallway, there were the usual pregame sounds. A bustling crowd interrupted by the call of 50-50 ticket sellers and fans calling out to Bomber, the Spitfire's mascot. But everyone was anticipating the pregame ceremony. Angel Age and the rest of the Spitfires had the unpleasant situation of starting the season by saying goodbye one last time to their former captain. It'll be tough, I think, too, just to see the number up there and uh, his name up there. But, uh, I mean, still got a game to play. And uh, we got a candle in our room that uh, first guy in lights it, uh, last guy out blows it out. So it's just kind of a representation of him always being around. When the ceremony began, the visiting Sarnia team came out wearing Renault's name and number on their jerseys in a move that surprised Spitfire's head coach, Bob Bugner. We weren't expecting that. Uh, we didn't know they were even doing it. They did it on their own, and it was really, really classy. And it just goes to show you the, the league and teams in this league and how close you really are when, you, when, when things like this happen, even though we're sort of enemies on the ice. The ceremony included an emotional speech from Mickey's father, Mark, as well as an announcement from Tom Webster, a scout with the Calgary Flames that drafted Mickey into the NHL of an educational bursary in his name for his older brother Remy and his younger sister Penny. With the Spitfires moving to a new arena in January, Mayor Eddie Francis took the podium and surprised the crowd by announcing the street leading to the new arena had been named in Mickey's honor. That's why this evening, on behalf of members of City Council, I'm happy to announce an honor to share with you that City Council has endorsed and approved Mickey Red Away. After the speeches came the culmination of the ceremony. I would now ask everyone to direct your attention to the north end of the arena as we officially raise the banner for our captain forever, number 18, Mickey Rattle. With that, a 10-foot banner with a 4-foot picture of Mickey and his name and number was raised to the rafters where he could forever watch over his former team. Goalie Andrew Angelage, head coach Bob Bugner, and fan Dave Jewell were watching from their respective locations, thinking about their former captain. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, was, it was tough, that's for sure. Uh, just seeing his picture up there, uh, just little reminders like that. Uh, yeah, emotionally tough to see it go up. People got to see what Mickey meant to uh, the community and, and what he meant to the organization, and to raise that was an honor, and uh, it was something special to be part of. Again, it puts a little closure onto it. It, it. it brought the city of Windsor together, brought the OHL together. So to see it done at the home opener and the old barn, it, it was really special. There was still a game to play, and the Spitfires went on to win 5-0. But this night was about much more than goals. It was about closure. It was a celebration. And for the sellout crowd, it was one last one for their friend, their teammate, and their captain. Our captain forever, number 18, Mickey Reno. From Windsor, I'm Steve Bull.